Hello everyone and welcome back to the Stack channel. So today we'll try to explore one more to, uh, new topic, uh, so which is related to Excel automation. So basically we have some Excel files, how we can open this particular Excel file and how we can read these activities, uh, how we can append the data. So those kind of information, we can learn it here. So when you come to here, we can see this uh, Excel uh, tool, just go to the tool and type this Excel. Uh, if you have any filter here, you can just remove that filter here. So then you can go here and you can check this uh, here. Lot of the activities are there, which is related to the application. So this is the application. What it will do now? Just click on this here. Mandatory activity drop when you are using this MS Excel. Open an instance of MS Excel. Once you open uh, an Excel instances, you can use other MS. Uh, MS means nothing but as Microsoft Excel activities. So for example, uh, if you want to use one Excel uh, open workbook, so mandatory this one should be the first thing okay after this we have the lot of activities is it so right now in this video we'll just try to explore how we can open that particular excel file and we'll check that one what are the properties are available in there so just drag and drop this open excel instances so once you click on this open excel instances and you can see the parameters are there so display alerts so for example when you're opening the excel file we'll see that some kind of uh, alerts are available so uh, enable editing some kind of alerts are those kind of alerts we can disable it and after this we can see this visible so when you open that particular excel file it should be visible or uh, it should not be visible so we need to check that as well so for that purpose they given the, these two input parameters so after this uh, i have created this open excel instances after this how can i open the workbook so you can go and check here workbook activities under this one so you can see this open workbook when you click on this i icon you can see some information so open a workbook referred by the workbook path so you need to give the some workbook path then it will refer the particular path once open you can use this activity further uses so so with the help of this open workbook activity, you can open that particular Excel file. So once you open that workbook, you can go with the, your stuff. Okay. Now I need to give this path here. Okay. Let me, I'm, I'm concentrating on this uh, sample Excel file. Just I uh, copy the path and updating here. Okay. So after this, uh, we, we know this uh, Excel instance has been opened. Now you want to close this instance. So go to this again application and we can see this close Excel instance are there or release instance, uh, Excel instance are there. So now we check this uh, close Excel instance. So close Excel instance, nothing but as it's close that particular Excel file and it, ha it don't have anything. Okay, just uh, I'm using this close Excel instance. Okay, now when you check here release instance. So what is this? So release instance of uh, X MS Excel without closing the file or the application. Open Excel instances inactivity required to launch other activities. So what it will do? It will just release for the particular Excel instance, but it not close a particular workbook. So we'll check that one also when you got the time. We will check that as well. So right now we just concentration on these things. So now I will go to the uh, close Excel instance, and you can see there is no no parameters are there. So edit error mode. Uh, these are the normal things. So which is if you get any error uh, by uh, by directly, it will redirect it to the things and it will give the things. Okay, now I will run this automation. What it will give is so just save all. And click on this test. Okay, now the Excel file uh, instance has been opened and Excel file also is open. Uh, let me show that one more time. So I'll just keep the breakpoint. I forgot to show that. Uh, just keep the breakpoint and you can check. So Excel instance, it will open. Just it will create one instance of the particular Excel file. After that, it will open the, our workbook. So this is a required workbook. I open this one. So now I open this. It will closing. This is fine. So now I have the four sheets. How can I uh, activate the particular sheet? For example, I have the four sheets. So now how can I add this uh, sheet to or might be the new sheet? So how we can activate that? We'll check this one. So I'm just stopping this. If you have any instances, I, I'm closing this extent. Uh, instances, these are the, I just closed. And when I go this activities and we can see this activate workbook uh, is there. Uh, just go to here, scroll down. You can see this activate work worksheet. Yeah, you can just take this activate worksheet. So, for example, if I want to add this, uh, uh, I forgot the sheet names, new sheet is it. So, for example, if I want to add this sheet 3, so just I copied this and I will go back to the studio or the Canva. So, just I uh, updated this one. 
okay now what it will do right? it will just open that particular excel file i will give some delay here so just for uh, our understand purpose so let me drag this and i will give some delay as uh, 5000 millisecond 5000 sec i mean 5 seconds and this is fine okay let me run this we'll check what it will happens So now when you check see uh, it will open that particular excel file and it activate the sheet as well so let once it open so now it got opened so i give the some delay seconds uh, to check whether it activating or not so when you go on check now the sheet has been activated so like this we can activate this sheet so why we need to activate this sheet means uh, this one i will let you know here so for example uh, if i want to read the data from this sheet so how can I read that? So we have the one activity which we call get cells activity is there. So let me go and check there. Get cells is there. Yeah, you can see this activity which we call get cells. Okay, just drag and drop. Okay, now what will happen now when I go and check here get cells? So it's not giving the anything. So just view this range definition and default value. So default value will be empty uh, fill the cells and we can see this this is standard format visible only uh, these things are available but it's not referring to the particular sheet if you want to read particular sheet if you want to read the data from the particular sheet so there is no option here so that's why we need to activate the particular sheet if you not activate the sheet respective speed for example if you want to read the data from the sheet one but in case if it is activated on the other sheet sheet three so sheet three data will uh, read into the, the get cells okay you make sure that uh, when you are reading the data, you can just make sure that so particular sheet you can activate and you can read the data. So now I will activate this uh, particular sheet and I will read this data. So now how can I read this A1 is to B6? So just I will update this range here. A1 is to B6. So just I want to read this data. That's it. Okay. So let me run this automation again and we can check uh, how the data is looked like. So let me click on the save all. So basically which sheet it's activated, I, I just activated to some other, I mean, I manually did. So now it activated the sheet three, but I need data uh, read from the sheet one. So now what will happen when I go on checks, it got rated and you can see this six elements are there. So when you go here under the, this particular sheet, six elements are there. So what I activated, that's fine. So I activated manually now. So I got this data from the a1 is to b6 and under this data we can this country name state name and india under those things are there so when i i want to check what type of data is available here just go to this tester here and you can see this output parameter so it has a written values six elements are there so when i go list so it having the data and one is null okay so when you check here it, it uh, this data read from the different uh, sheet i think so so this read uh, from the sheet yeah so that's why uh, it's read from the sheet three. so make sure that uh, when you are doing these things so the particular sheet should be in the activate position okay so this is the example uh, why if you not activate the different sheet what will happen so just i'm closing this sheet and again i'm reading the same data so we need to understand how this terminology is working so when you go to different tools it's having this they have own set of terminology when you come to this sap build uh, process automation so here it's having some different uh, terminologies is there okay now let it run i'm not touching anything let me check uh, it's activated at sheet one okay and i go to get cells values so now when i go and check i have the six uh, elements are there under the zero i have this country name state so the country is nothing but as my column name and state is also my column name header and when i go check zero one so zero is under the state of column uh, country name india and Andhra Pradesh. so japan uh, karnataka so these details are available here so when you check all the details are available here 
So now you get to know how you can read this data and how the it stores. So it, kindly uh, here it's storing in the format of elements. So when I go on check here tester, so you can see this return to values list. Okay. So we'll uh, going forward, we'll uh, try to understand how we can use these things as well. Okay. Now this is done. Now uh, let uh, let me run it. Okay, now uh, you, uh, you got, I mean, you understand how we can get the values. So now how we can set the values. So for setting the values also, we have one activity we call set values. I mean, set cells is there, uh, set values. Okay, just drag and drop. And I want to update the data on the uh, A10. Uh, so just A10. And if you have the multiple values, you can go like this. Or else, if you have only the one value, for example, I'm just updating the take a strike. Okay, let me run this and we'll check whether it's able to update or not. So let me run this one more time. Okay, just click on the test and now it's running this automation. So we'll check uh, how it will work and whether we are able to update the set values in the particular cell or not. We'll check that as well. Okay, I forget to remove this one. Okay, fine, no problem. So when I go and check, so I'm update the value as text stack. Okay, this is a way how we can open this particular Excel file with the help of instances and how we can activate this particular worksheet and how we can set the values and how we can get the values so these things we learn in this session and going forward we'll try to learn how we can identify the last column so these are all available now so when i go uh, let me stop this automation so when i go and check here a lot of activities are there so we'll explore uh, one by one topic if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload.